All right, hi everybody. So in this video, we're going to take a look at expanding a, a binomial. In this case, we got x plus three cubed. Um, the assumption that I'm making here is that you're you're familiar with binomial theorem, okay, and uh, and how to expand binomials using combinations, because um, that's kind of the audience that I'm I'm shooting this for uh, towards. The idea here is this is just meant to review this. So when I see x plus three cubed, because of the cubed, my coefficients here that I'm going to work with here are going to be three choose zero, three choose one. 3 choose 2, and then finally 3 choose 3. And then it's going to be the first term cubed, the first term squared, first term to the power of 1, and the first term to the power of 0. Then it's going to be the second term to the power of 0, and we work backwards here, uh, second term to the power of 1, second term to the power of 2, and finally the second term to the power of 3. And now we simply evaluate the uh, each individual little piece. So 3 choose 0 is going to be 1. This will be x cubed multiplied by 1. 3 to the 0 is 1. 3 choose 1 is 3. This will be x squared. And then multiplied by 3. Uh, 3 choose 2 is also going to be 3. Then we have x to the 1. And then 3 squared is 9. 3 choose 3 is 1. x to the 0 is 1 and 3 cubed is 27. And so now, now that we've got each individual factor for each term evaluated, now I'm going to multiply that all together, and we are going to simply get x cubed plus 9x squared plus 27x plus 27. Okay? Now, let's go and just verify that that is actually how this is going to work here if we were to expand it out the other way because we I know that you can also do this here so you could go x plus 3 times x plus 3 multiplied by x plus 3 I'm just going to show that this does work out to be the same thing so x plus 3 times x plus 3 if I just distribute I'm going to get x squared plus 3x plus 3x oops sorry plus 9 uh, multiplied by x plus 3 and then here I'm going to get x squared plus 6x plus 9 multiplied by x plus 3. Now i got to distribute each term in my trinomial through the binomial. So this will become x cubed plus 3x squared. Then I'll multiply the 6x through and I'll get 6x squared plus 18x. Then I'll multiply the 9 through and I'll get 9x plus 27. And then I'm going to group together like terms and I get x cubed plus 9x squared plus 27x plus 27. So it doesn't really matter which direction I, I go with this. I'm going to end up in the same spot. Those are, those are both equal here. Uh, but you're just going to see that as, as the exponent gets larger, that secondary method is going to become slower and really more, more clunky uh, than the binomial expansion that we did initially.